Three Dirty Dwarves. Um, I didn't get a go ahead. Uh, oh, I didn't get a go ahead about the uh, the intro cutscene. I should have triple checked before we went live. Um, it's it's like three minutes, uh, and it's really important. It's not really important. Uh, so I'm gonna just wait for Bald Nate to give me the go ahead. <laughs> Go for it. All right. Sorry to put you on the spot. All right. So in order to get the intro cutscene, I just put my controller on the ground. Really intensive. Let's go. <laughs> so welcome to Three Dirty Doors. I know you're going to love this game, especially if you know the kind of games I'm known for. I think you'll really love it. Sorry, I had it muted. Take it. There we go. Yeah. Take it. It's dark. Dank. There's a tree. A really big tree. Climb it or go around. Climb it. Who's gonna climb it? Hold it. You. Up the tree. Gateway? Uh -uh. Gateway! My turn! There! Who here likes D&D? Type 1 if you like D&D. And big, dirty dwarves. You got gotta roll my D my D twenty to see if I can roll one. Okay, one. Find a gate to this world. Here, it looks like this. Nothing but trouble. Underage Jake and his won't cooperate. What am I gonna do? Barney! I wanted super soldiers, not a bunch of little Einsteins. Don't talk, listen. These pint sized super minds spend all their time in that stupid game of chance. You understand me, son? Yes, sir. Not you, you idiot. Damn, I've had it. Call the Secretary of Defense. I'm splitting up the rug rat. And order me a pizza. Go in, Chobage! Are you getting the, the plot yet? Do you understand? It's very simple. Now we must pound the earth. We must pound the earth. That's actually the dev. That's <laughs> that's the dev uh Ed. No? Why not? I don't understand. <gasps> oh. oh! Oh no! Get a hold of yourself! Throw it! Oh. Mm. Let go! Pick it up! Yes, sir! Billy, throw it! Throw the die! That one, rocks fall, everyone dies. So the plot of this game is that there are four kids who are super geniuses cloned by the military to act as generals, and uh, they want to escape. So they're using D&D &D to uh, get three dwarves to appear from their alternate 
universe, their game world, and appear in uh, on Earth. So now they're crash landing in the Bronx. <laughs> This is a reverse isekai. Armor ourselves for battles to come. Helmets, clubs. We will save these children. Do you think we should freshen up a little bit before we go? No, no time for that. That's all stick. What happens if I fall on this? <laughs> All right, so we have our three dwarves here. This one is Greg, uh, whose uh, human counterpart is Greg, named Greg, by the way, which I find very funny. And then there's uh, Korthag on the left and Taconic on the right. And there they are, the three dirty dwarves. And with that, I am ready to go. Thank you for letting me show the intro cutscene. The ending cutscene is also just as good. And the orcs are also following us to the Bronx. It's gonna be a rumble, a rumble in the Bronx. All right, let's go. Made by Sega Soft. We're playing on normal because normal has more levels. Uh, all of the levels are represented in normal and hard. I'm not playing hard because I don't hate myself. Uh, three, two, one, go. Loading times. So this is a uh, game on the Sega Saturn. It's also very mean, so chances are high I'm going to screw up. Please be kind. Um, our main strat here is that I'm going to be taking uh, Taconic, who's the bowling ball buddy, and uh, his main attack that I'm going to be using is his uh, throw attack. If he's on the ground and does a throw attack, he kind of like takes a while to wind up and uh, uh, kind of a little bit to cool down as well, but if he does it in the air, it's a lot faster. So that's our quickest uh, way to do a lot of damage. Uh, ranged attacks deal two damage. Oops, wrong one. And, uh, so we're going to, uh, be using that strat most of the time. Let's go out of the way. Go this way. So... Each uh, dwarf has their own special abilities, and there are a few other abilities, too, that, uh, that we have. Um, you can see in the top right... You can see in the top right, uh, left, excuse me, that we have... Uh, okay, you are dead. I wasn't sure if you were dead. That we, ha we, we sometimes have these little skulls. That's, like, our currency for the abilities. Um... We have two two main attacks. Our main melee attack, which we don't want to use super often because it's a little slow, and uh, also deals less damage. Each melee attack deals one damage, whereas uh, each ranged attack deals uh, two. Um, and uh, oh, let's go! Oh, okay. And uh, then we also have, uh, let's see, is jump. And then we have X, Y, and Z. And X, Y, and Z each do different things. Uh, X will do like a quick melee attack like this, which is usually a pretty fast way to kill most things, and it only uh, uses one energy. And then we have, uh, what's this? We have another, uh, X does a special attack for each of the dwarves. And then, uh, the main one we'll be using is Greg, the baseball dwarf. Uh, he has a really strong uh, two, two swing. And then we have uh, Dwarf Morph, which I will not be using, uh, but it is very good. <laughs> and uh, then if you press R and L a bunch to switch between the dwarves, and if you do it too much, they'll start fighting each other. And that's a way to do a lot of damage, because it does like one damage per frame and lasts a long time. Um, okay, so this is the second level. So this game was made by the same person who made Mr. Bones, and if you've ever seen Mr. Bones, 
Well, it's coming up next. But also, uh, Mr. The, the death of Mr. Bones sure did like uh, making games that were like a lot of different ideas all at once feel a little bit safer here than I usually would be. There's a fast strat to this, but it is uh, scary to do. That was dangerous, but we managed to do it. If we lose all three of our dwarves, we're done. And if you do lose one dwarf, you can easily get him back by just smacking him. But you do lose one uh, power-up. So, like, they, the, the dev of this game really liked games that were like a bunch of ideas kind of around a big central idea. So the central idea is this beat-em-up. And I, if you don't know me, I don't like beat-em-ups very much. I, uh, I just find them a little boring. Uh, I prefer all of the other segments of this game. But, uh, we gotta, we gotta put up with the beat-em-ups. Uh, here we are in the Bronx again, another beat-em-up segment. Uh, the cool thing about the beat-em-ups, though, is that they, they introduce some of the best enemies. This game will introduce a few really neat enemies. Oh my god, please. Excuse me. Okay, so these are the big rats. A lot of these enemies you'll only see once. Uh, those big rats, uh, for example, we only see once. Um, this friend, we also only see once. Uh, you just take care of her by quickly throwing our, uh, our bowling balls. It's the fastest way to deal with her, basically. Um, Yeah, this is a therapeutic uh, D&D set, of course. Each of the dwarves, I love each of the dwarves. They all have like their own little personalities and styles. Uh, the, the green one, by the way, is a half dwarf, half orc, which is not something you ever see. And I'm really, really uh, glad because I like when things are like half one race and like the other half isn't human because that's boring. Listen, I'm sorry to all the humans currently watching. You are boring. Okay? Why would you be a human when you could be a dwarf? Or a goblin? You know. Okay, so now we're going to use the uh, the second attack, the second uh, super attack for Greg here, which is his spin attack. It's basically a weaker, uh, but easier to set up and less expensive uh, brawl. Um, and is good for sections where you gotta deal a good amount of damage, but not too much damage. Uh, in the section, in the situation where you don't want to deal a lot of damage really fast, you would prefer Brawl. But, uh, it's better to have, you know, more energy, so. Alright, this is, uh, this gym house, which is a kind of boss battle. And it has, uh, the only trick in the game that's like a glitch, if you hold up as soon as you enter, you get inside of the gym and you just ignore all of its, uh, all of its hitbox. I, I mean, all, all of its attacks. And now we can just, we'll just, we can try and take care of the gym. Uh, we are currently attacking a gym. D don't ask me. Uh, Greg here is actually the, the best uh, way to do this because it's easy to reposition yourself and uh, you can deal a lot of attacks really quickly uh, by holding A in order to throw up a bunch of baseballs at once. And there you go, that's the quick kill on that boss. Bronx by day. Another, uh, another, um, beat em up stage. Although this one introduces some very interesting enemies. These are the worst enemies in the game, IMO. I, like, maybe not, but I hate them. They're very slow to take care of. Uh, they're easy to take care of if you have, uh, um, like, at least one energy. You just do that and then quickly get rid of them. 
But that uses up energy, and energy is very important. So the uh, fastest way that I find to do it is using Greg because he has the fastest attack. And uh, you kind of jump over them. Give me, thank you. Uh, that did not give me a brawl, sadly. Right. Tell you what, we're gonna show Dwarf Morph real quick. So holding Z turns you into this. It kind of like morphs all the dwarves together. That's not the fastest way to do this with this enemy, but when else am I going to show off Dwarf Morph? Uh, each of the uh, dwarves, if they are the primary morph target, they will do a different attack. Uh, I find the best one is uh, Karthag here. Uh, he is the one who deals the most damage in Dwarf Morph form. But Brawl is like superior basically every single instance. So like I used to use Dwarf Morph, but I just prefer Brawl in almost every single instance. I found it's superior. Oh my god, I'm gonna need you to stop. Holy crap, do not kill me. Okay. Uh, something you may have noticed, by the way, uh, I haven't mentioned it, but uh, this music absolutely slaps. All of the music in this game is incredible, and I highly recommend going and looking up the soundtrack. I especially recommend uh, Bed Bounce, which is my favorite song in the game. Uh, there's the uh, tape lady who will tape you up. I, I don't know why, but she will do that. And uh, uh, just a quick uh, two attack on uh, on Greg here will take care of that. Excuse me, newspaper. Alright, we have a good amount of energy, so I'm just going to do quick attacks on, on these friends. And these are really annoying. Some of the Some of the most annoying enemies in the game. They never line up for your, your ranged attacks. Uh, they always like to hide off screen. There we go. It's just obnoxious to hit them. Could you please stop? Okay, I might be actually low on energy for this next segment. Yes, actually no, we should be good. Oh, we got lucky. Sometimes those don't hit. Uh, these friends are a little obnoxious to hit. They can, they have a chance to block, but they will never block if you use a special. Uh, so that takes a quick work of them. Here they are! Here are the Skinjas. This are, uh, this is like most people's favorite enemy in the game. Uh, a one attack on, uh, Korthag is usually enough to take care of them. Uh, I, no, I don't know why. I don't know why they exist, but they do, and we have to put up with it. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> more skinges. Take quick work of them. If you get enough skinges on screen at once, it becomes a serious issue. Excuse you. They they uh they take just a little bit more than um just a little bit more than like the the X attack. And uh, Korthag's X attack deals the most damage. Just a tiny bit more, because it's 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 the X attack plus a uh, ranged attack, which is two damage. All right, so here's this friend. I'll be honest, he just kind of decides when he wants to take damage. No special attacks work on this dude. Um, so I just sit here and smack him, and eventually he dies. I I have no idea how to make this go faster. There we go. And that's the, uh, this level. Next level. Bouncing Bed. This is my favorite music in the game. Uh, this is a pretty simple level, but, uh, rather fun. Uh, you just bounce on the bed. Took the CD a few seconds to find the, the music. Good old Sega Saturn. Whoop! Mm. And we'll use we'll score that here. Uh-oh. Mm. Give it up, give it up, give it, give it, give it up. Wake up, dude. Oh, this is the slowest bouncing bet I've done in a long time. You you can kinda like uh chain him with uh correct bed movement. Like this. 
that's the, the fastest, easiest way to take care of him. But sometimes he gets, like, if, if you miss, like, once or twice, then it gets out of hand. And, uh, like, because if he's bringing out his attack, he will hit you as you're going past him. So, you have to be careful with that. Garbage Hills, welcome to my house. This is where I belong. Uh, this is where I live. I, I am well known for enjoying a good quality video game now and then. Uh, and by that I mean most days. Um, I, I like my garbage. Uh, however, I did see people saying they expected this game to be bad. Specifically because I was playing it. Uh, I I will disagree. I actually think this game's really, really good. Um it's it's a good beat-em-up and it, it's it's got extreme style. You absolutely cannot deny that this game looks great. It's just, uh, it, it can be slightly frustrating to play, but I'm not entirely sure if that's just me and my distaste of, uh, of beat-em-ups. I, I, I tend to think it is. I think it's a pretty good beat-em-up. It's got a lot of, like, variety, a lot of, uh, different attacks and styles and things you can do. A lot of different strats. Sadly, we missed that, uh, that D20, which really sucks. I hope we have enough for... We do not have enough for this chuckle fuck. Okay, so this guy takes a lot of hits. Just a million hits. And the uh, easiest way to kill him is with a brawl. With a brawl, you take him down in like a few seconds. But sadly, I missed that uh, D20 earlier uh, because I accidentally set it off too quickly with uh, Taconic's bullet ball. So. Oh, missed it. Come on. This guy likes to kind of move vertically and, and watch him miss his attacks. Alright, so see, this is what we're supposed to do. So much faster, so much better. This game was released on the Sega Saturn and the uh, PC. I have not played the PC port. I hear it's perfectly fine. Uh, I haven't played the PC port because I do not own a Windows 98. However, um, it does have different music and I have listened to the music and uh, I gotta say, I prefer this one. This music is just better. We're, we're going to uh, just use melee attacks on this guy because he gives us one and I want want to get enough power-ups uh, for this, this guy. There we go. Just barely enough to take care of him fast. Ah. So the fastest uh, Z attack and the best one to use is usually Greg's, the, uh, the baseball dwarf. Oh no! Oh, I forgot to pick this up! Oh man! Okay, that's fine. Okay, so we don't have the quick kill here. That's unfortunate, but it shouldn't be too slow. Okay, there we go. And we got the, uh... Oh wait, no, we didn't get the cutscene skip. Never mind. I thought we would get the cutscene skip. I got a cutscene skip, and I thought I knew what caused it, but to be honest, I don't know. I thought it was because uh, I had a dwarf down, but I don't know. This didn't happen. All right, stadium time. Who here likes baseball? Who here likes blazeball? Uh, go, go Seattle Garages. Um, I'm assuming this is Yankee Stadium. And. Uh, Depending on where you hit the ball in its attack animation and uh, how, how far you're leaning. Come on. Okay, that's fine. I, can, I can make that. 
you you hit the orcs, and you're trying to uh, go across. This is not how baseball works. Uh, this is how blaze ball works in some uh, other universe, though. I'm sure. This level feels almost RNG at times, where the ball is going to hit, and it is being very obnoxious to me. Like, I know it's it's related some somehow to when I hit, but uh, some days it's way nicer than other days. Come on. Come on. Come on. You know you want to hit the door. The, or the orc up there. All right. And there we go. We're out. It was a little slow, but that's okay. This, uh, this fits into House of Fire. This fits into the Saturn's uh, penchant for... Being a, a machine that was really good for 2D games, uh, which, you know, that people were trying to move away from that at the point, but I still think that uh, games like this are great, and uh, especially look great. Probably held up a little bit better than some of the 3D beat-em-ups that were going around at the time. Anyway, uh, this... Oh my gosh. This is a bit of an awkward uh, fight. There we go. So, you have to hit each of these windows. I, I could hit the dragon in order to get a power-up. I don't care about that. Um, and you have to hold down in order to ready yourself, and then press up right at the right time in order to uh, hit the bottom one. And the bottom one is especially awkward to hit, so it, it can take me a few attempts. Some days it's just like super, like I get it every single time, perfect. Some days, uh, I just keep hitting the middle one or the very bottom. Oh, okay. Sure, I hit the top one that time. Please hit the bottom one. Uh, that should have that hit the middle one. Okay, then. There we go. Okay, the rest of them are easy. <laughs> just hold, hold neutral for that. Hold up for a few seconds. Don't go too up. And you, you want to hold up right as you're like going towards it in order to, to get it. Otherwise you go above. And uh, then we hit the dragon right in space. Boom! All right. Now we here we have the dragon. This is the second phase of the fight. Pretty simple. Uh, there's a quick strat to this where the fastest way is to kind of move over to the left and let him attack to the left. And we want to move him over here one more will do it. To this fire hydrant. And there we go! Fun stuff! This is the Sega Saturn. This is Saturn Block, actually, that you are currently watching. We're in the middle of Saturn Block. We do have more Saturn after this. Especially a classic. Uh, who here likes Donkey Kong? Anyone? Anyone a fan of Donkey Kong? This is a trolley ride. It's a uh, pretty simple minecart level. Uh, it, you don't lose anything by getting hit. You lose power-ups, which for this is extremely not important. I, 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 you, you have one uh, special ability you can use that uses up a power-up on this, which puts you in your cart, uh, like, like that. And that allows you to uh, negate some damage, but uh, it does not matter. It's using up damage to negate damage, essentially. Not, not a big deal. It does matter when you're playing... Uh, when you're playing uh, hard mode, however. Because hard mode, uh, you actually have health. Um, you do not have health uh, in normal or easy. We want to go on the top route almost every time. Um, the only time we don't is the, uh, ooh, make it, okay. The only time we don't is the final one. The, the top route is the fastest route. 
So of course I, I uh, went the bottom route most times. As, as I would. Excuse me, buddy. Okay, so here are some jumps to the only spots you're gonna actually die in this level. Ah, oh, crook! Why did I do that? I just saw it, I was like, oh, let's do, let's do that. Because this is slightly slower than going on the bottom route. There's no enemy at the bottom, so it's just slower. And of course, I, I literally went, I don't want to hit the thing. And then I hit the thing, of course I did. <laughs> Man of a thousand swords. Uh, or Mots. Uh, I believe his name is just Mots. And uh, this is an accountant who uh, decided, he, he saved up a lot of money from his day job at the office and uh, decided to live his passion of being a giant man on a building throwing swords at people. That is his actual, like, canon lore, is that he's, he's an office worker who just really wanted to throw swords at people and just collect, a, uh, collect swords. You should be wary of people who build their personality around swords. We want the sword to go on the top because A, it will hit us a little bit less. And also B, uh... I mean, like, it's just, it, we, we don't have to do any jumps. So if it goes on top most most of the time, that's fast, but some RNG. And there he goes, he's down. And yeah, he's a, he's a, uh, he's a claymation, which is awesome. I love claymation. All right, so this next level has a uh, quick strat, which I hope I'll get. Oh no, this is Rikers Island. Never mind. Yeah, welcome to Rikers Island, which is an actual real place in real life, and it, it sucks. <laughs> uh, this level also kind of sucks. But uh, hey, we, we, we do what we can. Uh, once again, our main strat is going to be throwing these. Uh, these friends usually like to spawn in the middle, and if if we let them, they will just go off and just wreck house. Oh crap. Same with these friends, they're very aggressive. I like this music a lot. No. No! Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Make it play. Who that? Yeah. Okay, so here are the... There they are. Here's these friends. I messed up the quick kill, because of course I did. Who would not have messed up the quick kill? There we go. Right, well, I got the second uh, quick, quick hit. Um, you gotta, like, kind of time your throw. To Conix, uh... Taconic and Greg have a quick attack. Oh shit. Okay. Uh, have have a uh, have a quick like throw into the. I mean a slow throw into the background that uh like has them wind up, which is good for those friends. And uh, Carthag has a uh, a a quicker one, but it has a bit of a wind down. Jax. Oh, Oh my gosh! I, I I need to hit them before they they do their. Oh my gosh! Can you do it, please? Stop it! Cease! Okay. <laughs> I have. Oh no! I have really low attack for this. Okay, this is dangerous. Okay, so these friends are extremely aggressive. Ah! God no! Stop it! They like to dodge your freaking uh, range attack so you can't actually hit them. Stop! Cease! Alright, they like being just away from you in like a vertical space. And because we're using 2D sprites, it's hard to tell if you're right aligned to them in the 2D axis. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Fuck! <laughs> no! Okay. Everything fell apart. I got so frazzled. Oh, the mop guy. If you don't have uh, three uh, attacks for the mop guy, it's a nightmare. Uh, and that just frazzled me so hard. Okay, that's fine. 
I'll lose it some time, but we'll get back up to it. It's very 90s. The art style and like the way they represent everything, they clearly do not like most things, I, I find. Come on. Who did? Three, three. We don't, we don't want to hit this nerd, by the way. If we attack the nerd, he will go off on you and just beat the hell out of you. I actually did not want to grab that. I'm going to be a little more safe uh, with this one. Because I've not been getting the quick kill, and I want I want my, uh, my power-ups for this next section for the mop guy. Okay, we have power-ups for the mop guys. Easy as this. If you have the power-ups, no big deal. Super fast, super easy. Just need the power-ups. Oh, okay, I'm gonna go back for uh for uh the tonic here. You didn't technically need to, but uh, if you lose a dwarf, if you leave a dwarf behind, they will be inside of boxes. A little bit early. Um, they'll be inside of boxes. There we go. Which, uh, is nice. You can always get back your dwarf. No, they'll, they'll never be gone for good. However, uh, that does mean that anything that would have been inside that box is not inside that box. So, I, 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 I like to not do that. Okay, so here's these guys. These guys are super aggressive. Uh, basically like just stronger pop guys. Uh, I have to use a brawl on them or else they will absolutely obliterate me. We are almost out of Riker's Island. Made it! Alright, we're good. We're actually getting kind of close to the end. We only have a few levels left. Taconic Park. As someone who is not uh, from New York, uh, is any of this accurate in any way? <laughs> okay, oh, uh, this has a quick strat, which I have messed up. So now we have to wait for that, that to spawn again. You can get all the dwarves in there very quickly, but I messed up the jump on top of the uh, thing for the first dwarf. And uh, this one is kind of weird because, again, it's 2D sprites on a 3D plane, which looks nice still to this day, but it is a little awkward <laughs> to actually play. Um, okay. Second to last level is the laser laser research. The cutscenes are really good, by the way. I recommend them. Uh, I didn't put in a cutscene uh, percent because there, there's not super many of them. Uh, there's like three. This guy is real annoying because he, he likes to bounce around and not take a lot of damage from your attacks. So just using like attacks on him is almost always a waste of attack. Right, and uh, everyone's favorite, babies. Uh, apologies for the noises. Oh, they're not making noises right now. Usually they do. Now they are! Okay, so apologies for these noises. I hope you're all, uh, okay with this. <laughs> mm. 
Okay. Yeah, the fastest way to kill these friends is uh, with uh, Korthag here, using his uh, one attack. But sometimes things get out of, out of hand. Okay, so here's this uh, attack that'll happen. We're gonna try a quick kill on him. Nope, I messed up. I'm surprised. <laughs> things don't always go the way they the way we hope. Uh, attack on them. Babies! Yeah, this is uh, definitely one of the worst sound effects I've ever heard in a video game. It doesn't help that we hear it a million times over. Stop. Please. I don't want to be here any longer. Usually... Oopsies. I need to attack that thing. It's it's actually fastest to use uh, Korthag here to attack these friends. However, uh, like I said, it's hard to tell where they are on the 3D plane. So uh, I will often miss. Oh, this friend. He, he's very aggressive, but you can take care of him relatively easily with just one attack, especially with Korthag. Back off, babies. Please die. Please die. Stop it. This entire level is like designed to waste your time. Alright, there we go. That's the quick kill. I had it set up on the wrong dwarf at first. Okay. There we go. Got the quick kill without getting hit. Good stuff. So we're currently, uh, for those who missed the very beginning of the stream, we're currently uh, raiding the, the uh, military's like top secret uh, research base uh, where they, they uh, got some cloned children and uh, that were like super bred to be super smart. And uh, we're trying to break the children out. Sort of thing. One of the issues with the baby uh, thing is that sometimes, I I'm not entirely sure why, but it, d it likes to lag out the game. Uh, this game doesn't have a lot of lag, uh, but like the baby rooms are like the one point where there's lag. <laughs> there we go. Okay, this is going to be slightly dangerous. We have the uh, final boss here. Not the final boss, excuse me. The boss of this area. And as you can see, there's a lot of lag. Um, I don't want to get hit at all, and I also don't want to use up any of my specials. Uh, because I want to use... What the heck? I want to use three specials for the next level. So now I can't get hit whatsoever in this next level. And I probably will, but uh, I'll do my best, I promise. Um, next level, final boss. Barney's Machines. Just gotta quickly the fastest way to deal with it, I find, is using a uh, fourth bag here to... Oh no! Shoot, I got hit. Of course I got hit. Please get away from fourth bag. Okay. I used fourth bag to... Uh, that's okay, we can do a backup strat here. Um, to kind of like hit and then try to reorganize myself. So now we should get him in a loop like this.
Okay, and now the fast strat is using a uh, uh, brawl on this guy. However, uh, we don't have brawl uh, because I I, I, I I screwed up and I got hit once. So we will use that, which is a little bit worse, but not by much. Like I said, brawl is like uh, the spin attack, but um, lasts a little bit longer. Uh, all right, and now for the final phase, which is just an exercise in uh, determining 3D depth. <laughs> Pretty simple. Barney flies around and we gotta hit him uh, with an aerial attack. Time is coming up in just a moment. He's able to do attacks, but usually you hit him so fast he like doesn't even do anything. He just like floats around and like gets beat up. Poor guy. I, I do genuinely feel bad for Barney, but whatever. Uh oh, he didn't attack. That's a noise. That's a good noise. Stop it. All right, and there we go. That's the final hit. So now all of Barney's machines uh, go haywire and blow him up. And time. Now for the final cutscene. Because this cutscene is great, okay? Sit back. Relax. Ah, well see. Uh, all right, come on in. <laughs> you must let the children go. Oh, yes. yeah, they made it. Sure, sure. Uh, hear me out first. Boys, I like the cut of your gym. You fellows are going to love working for me. Briggs is kind of convincing. Do they have benefits where you come from? Insurance, uh, pension, dental plans, something this like that. What do you think? Sorry. Life, accidentally clicked something. Mm. Yes, works are very smelly. We've got to roll to get them out. Works are very smelly. I number. I still have a die. Working for me now. Oh no, a three! Wait, 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 hold the phone. Boys, let me put my cards on the table. Showtime! Gentlemen, the entire armory in the free world is at your disposal. And the unfree world, if you want. <laughs> now, how about a little R&R &R on your own beachfront property? Uh, guns, and uh, your tanks. You got tanks there, don't you? Well, thank you. Keep up with me, boy. Yes, sir. Anyway, uh, just look at what we got here. Plus, uh, access to our secret weapons research team. Hey, take a look at that. Top secret stuff there, boy. Oh, boy, we'll be unstoppable. Can you believe it? Oh, look at this. I'll give you our very own condo. Look at that, baby. It's beautiful. Look at the front of the house. Now I'm talking here, boy. Roll again. Okay, here we go. Come on, Di. <gasps> Come on. We get... Oh, 14's pretty okay. We're looking for a few good dwarves. What do you say? More slides. More slides. Wow. Well, talk amongst yourselves. Uh-oh, they're buying it. Well, we'll take care of that. At least this bricks oh. doesn't stink like ore. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Papa needs a new pair of shoes. Ah. I'll even throw in a Winnebago. <laughs> <laughs> Submarine! <laughs> Nat 20! Look, we did it! <laughs> you release the children. Yeah, yeah, sure. Well, we got a deal, all right? Here. Oh, well, that was this way. Uh, it's an incredible game. Uh, I, I love it.